All right, guys, it's Harley. Going to uh, show you how to program your 4PL to do four wheel steer plus a winch. Uh, we're starting off, we're going to start off with a new model. We'll go down to model, change this to model 2 or whatever you'd like. Uh, press the plus and minus to execute to change it. So now you can see it changed to model 2 up there. You can come down here and name your model if you like. I'm going to skip that for now. Um, press the center select button to exit out. We're going to start out by going to advanced, down to four wheel steer mix. All right, here we're going to change this to, you can change it to whatever type you like. There's three types, uh, two type, three type, and four type. What that refers to is the different uh, types of four wheel steer you can have. Front only, opposite lock, crab, and rear only. My personal preference is three type. I don't care to have rear steer only on the wheel. Uh, it just doesn't doesn't feel quite right to me. All right, from here you go down to switch, and PS one is what we're going to or uh, SW one push. That's what it uh, what it goes to here. What that is is that's this button here on the grip. We're going to turn this to four wheel steer. All right, so the alt is fine. It just stays like it is. Uh, we're going to hit the center button again to exit out. So now what we have, you can see it's got this little arrow on here now. As you push that button, it'll cycle between the different types, showing you what, what it's on. So now that that's done, um, we'll, uh, we'll exit out. You just go up and hit the center button. Um, from there, right now your, your four-wheel steer will, will work just fine um, as you steer. We'll go like that. Uh, if your rear steer isn't isn't moving the way you'd like, uh, is for example, if it's got if it's turning in opposite lock, but they're turning the same way, uh, just go into the menu and go into steering. Or sorry, uh, that's if you need to reverse your steering servo. You can go into uh, into this top one and hit reverse or normal. Um, if you need to reverse the rear steer channel, that will be channel three, and then that'll be uh, it'll say channel three at the top and just turn that to reverse or normal, whatever which way you need to go. So right now, like I said, you've got your rear steer going. You hit the button, it'll cycle each way. So that's how you set up the basics. Uh, from there, I'm gonna tell you, we're gonna go down to dial switch, uh, go to trim dial, and what we're going to do is we're going to program DT1 to do four-wheel steer rate. And I'll explain what that does as soon as we program it. All right. That stands for four-wheel steer rate. And then we're going to change this value to, uh, we'll change it to 10% for now. So change it to 10, which uh, I'll explain what that does in a second. So exit back out of here. Go back to the home screen. So right now it's set at 100, uh, just the default setting. So that means your rear steer is getting 100% of what your front steering is doing. Now if you change that rate, say I hit it twice, that changes it 20%. Now your rear is getting 80% of what your front steering is doing. And you can go all the way down and it just changes the amount that your rear servo will travel with respect to the front. This is helpful, especially for uh, high speed stuff, things like that. Sometimes having too much rear steer is a problem. So that gives you an, an easy, quick change uh, to do that. You can change that value in the DT one to have it uh, change it a greater percent with each click. That's just personal preference. From here, we're going to uh, tell you how to program your winch. So go back in the menu, back down to uh, dial switch, trim dial, and then for this one we'll use uh, DT2 right here behind the wheel. So scroll down to DT2 and we're going to change that to channel 4. So channel 4 and then change this value to 100 which is for a three position switch. 
So now that that's programmed, we go back out to the home screen. Now, that turned this into a three position switch. So that's what will operate a typical winch for you. Click it one way, winch in, center is nothing. The other way, winch out. Uh, pretty easy, pretty typical. Uh, nothing, nothing hard to setting up a three position switch. So that shows you how to do uh, both rear steer and winch with a uh, 4PL. Not too bad, pretty easy. If you guys have any questions, hit me on RCC. Uh, you can PM me or email me. My email is in my signature. And let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.